Welcome back to Veertech Gaming. Today, we're going to be starting our journey into customizing feeds using placeholders. Placeholders are certain words inside brackets. These keywords are what the bot uses to recognize that these need replacing with relevant information. Whether it be gamer tags, clan details, KD ratios, currency, there are so many ways to customize your Discord and in-game feeds, and we're going to go through it. Let's start with the in-game kill feed. If you take a look at this command line on screen, the default kill feed, you can see it contains two placeholders, player name and victim player name. These two placeholders will be automatically updated with the two player names before posting your kill feed for everyone to see. So if we left this alone and someone named player one killed someone called player two, when this feed updated in game, then we would see the text read player one killed player two. Clean and basic, but I want to add my own using the placeholders. To do this, I recommend having a text application open. Personally, I use Notepad++ and also the documentation. For this, head over to docs.veertech.systems and head over to the page titled Customizing Feeds. Scroll down to the PVP placeholders list and you'll see all the available placeholders for PVP. Please look over these as I think you'll be surprised of all the options that are available for you to use. Now to the text editor. Type yourself a line out of exactly what you want this feed to say. For me, I want it to say player one annihilated player two. I also want to make the names bold. So if I put a hashtag on either side of the words, I want bold like this. I know that I just want those parts to be bold. Heading back into the docs, I now know two things. I need the placeholder for player names and also how to make them bold. Checking out tips and tricks, I can see that to achieve bold text, I need to use the letter B surrounded by arrows and to at the end, I need to repeat this with an inclusion of a forward slash before the letter B. For ease, I'm going to highlight this, copy, head back into my notes and paste it here to reference when building my custom feed. Back into the docs again, looking for these player names, I can see we have here killer player name. Description being gamer tag or discord name of the killer, which is exactly what I'm looking for. So again, highlight, copy, back into my notes, paste again, ready to use shortly. Again, back into the docs to check for the person we killed. If we scroll down a little, we find ourselves in the victim section, and here we have victim player name. And with the description of gamer tag or discord name of the victim, we can confirm that this is what we need for player two again. Highlight, copy, back into the notes, and paste. We now have everything we need for our custom feed. It's much easier to construct the feed here in the notes editor if you can, and copy it into the command when prompted on discord. So to start, I know that we need the killer's name, and I want it bold. So copying the info we have here, I need to start with the left arrow, then the letter B, then the right arrow. This opens the bold text, then killer player name. As you can see here, we need to make sure that brackets and capital letters are used as seen here. So open bracket, killer player name, and then close bracket. Finally, we need to close that bold text using as we see here, left arrow, forward slash, the letter B, and the right arrow. This has now closed the bold text within our feed. The next part is simple. Just use the word annihilated and then we need to repeat the first part, but for the victim. Again, starting with the bold we need, left arrow, the letter B, and then the right arrow. Now for the victim, it's a little different. Rather than killer player name, we use the second placeholder we got, victim player name. Again, remembering the brackets, so open bracket, victim player name, watch those capitals, and then close bracket, and here you can see the finished product. Now to apply these in game, we need to head into our discord and use the command slash feeds game add. Selecting your game server. Yes, this can only be added to one game server at a time and then the type. Now, as we all know by now, there are limits on the discord autofill menus. It's likely PVP will not show for you. So we have to manually type here PVP and you'll see the option PVP is now on screen. Click here, hit enter, and you will see it's now asking for the message. This is where we head back into our notes, copy our whole new line of kill feed, head back into Discord and paste it here, hit submit, and you will see your custom feed has been registered. Just a few things to note here. You're allowed up to 25 different feeds per type. So PVP kills can have 25 different feeds. These will be chosen at random to display in game. Second, if the feed is invalid, then it will either fail or will show incorrectly. So if all of a sudden your feed stops working, it's likely because the new feed you've entered is invalid and will require removing and re-adding. Finally, these feeds are filtered. Any foul language, racism, sexism, and everything in between will be stopped, and this will also cause the feed to fail. Head into game to check out your new feed, and you're good to go. Feed not displaying correctly, not displaying at all, 
or you just want new content? To do this, we have to completely remove the feed to start again. You can do this using slash feeds game delete, select your game server, selecting your type, hit enter, and finally select the feed number from the list. Once you've done this, you'll see that you have the confirmation on screen. If, however, you want to copy the information for editing before removing the feed, or you just want to take a look at what feed you have available, you can do this using the command slash feeds game list. Hit enter, and all your feeds will be listed here for you to look at. And there you have it. We've managed to take a look at available placeholders, create a basic custom feed for in-game, how to list your feeds, and finally how to delete it if you have made a mistake or want to remove a feed. Remember that these are very case sensitive and will also be content filtered. Join us next time where we will cover a more advanced version of the feeds and what we can add to them including color, currency, kill death ratios, and much more. Until then, happy grubbin'.